Okay, so that's nice and dry now. Uh, now, no sky is complete without a bit of landscape. It really shows the sky off to its full, yeah. you know, thing. So what we can do is just put a bit of silhouetted land, yeah? Okay. So, big brush there, and then we'll use the uh, the grey from the clouds, which was the blue and the burnt sienna. Mm -hmm. You've got plenty there, so dampen your brush, mix it in with it. Possibly slightly lighter colour, actually. All right? Lighter than that? A bit more water with it. Okay. Make it more transparent, okay? Yeah. So the paper colour shows through. And the nice loaded brush, twist it, really load it up, you know. Bags of colour, bags of water. And just work an inch or so from the bottom and just put a bit of a wobbly line across. Be creative. <laughs> Your wobbles are different than my wobbles on there, so we can just get those on and just bring them across. Each awesome. person's got different wobbles. <laughs> so you can well, bring that yeah. across and then you can bring it down. It gives you this Not sort of basic impression. Or... I stopped just short of the bottom yeah. because I've got some yellow ochre on my brush there, look. Pretty much straight from the actual thing, just a little bit. Okay. A blob of juicy yellow ochre. Work that in at the bottom, actually work it in with the grey. Take it into the grey. So working quite quickly, get the yellow to work in with it. And it sort of lifts up the um, foreground a bit. Yeah, just yeah, it so it a like a little bit, yeah. like this sort of thing, yeah. And then we can... Go for a detailer brush and put some little figures on or some two men walking a dog or something, man and wife walking dog, looking at sunset, all right? Sounds very nice, eh? So what we'll do Romantic is we'll... Romantic picture. It is, yeah. <laughs> I think we should thicken up the colour though. So we'll go back to the burnt sienna, back to the blue. So it's quite a dark, definite colour okay. again. Think more grey than brown. So plenty of colour in there, but it's quite thick and heavy. Nice pointy brush. Okay. And we'll have a go at painting the figure. A Touch more blue, it's a bit browny, that thing. Right. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. Much better there. Perfect, that. Okay, so what we'll do then is get the people in, probably about an inch or so tall, looking across at the sun. Okay. So, painting a person. Put the head on first, so take a guess round about there somewhere. Put like a little egg shape for does the it, head. Does it matter where I do that? You decide. Not right in the centre, one of the two sides. So near them. It's a hard choice, eh? Come moon. on. <laughs> you decide which dip. one. Yeah, not well, quite too right. central. They're just off centre. Okay, right. I'll be fine. All right. Okay. Two egg shapes, one taller than the other. Man and wife. You decide which one. <laughs> Two blobs. People have a tendency for doing heads round, but they're not. Yeah. They're like yeah. egg shape, you know. So that's great there then. Larger egg shape for the body. <laughs> Does it Obviously, join on with the hair? Yeah, yeah, loosely attach it to the head. All right. Remember, this is a silhouette looking against the bright yeah. sun, all right? So we can put that on there. So a larger egg shape, a loose egg shape, <laughs> not a perfect egg shape. And you can start to see two bodies floating, uh -uh. all right, above the land there. That's it. I think this has got to be coat on. Yeah, it's a bit cool, eh? <laughs> and then what we'll do is we'll put the legs on. Never put feet on people because they don't look right. So yeah. what we'll do is just put one line, two lines, that sort oh, of thing. So it's just like Quite a tall one. person. Imagine that yeah. distant person right over there, you know, looking at the sun. And then we'll do the same on this one as well. Put them on there. Mine's a bit shorter. Is that okay? That's okay, yeah. She's um, walking ahead. What we'll, what we'll, <laughs> what we'll do there is we'll just put a couple of um, arms coming down at the side, look. This person, chaps, carrying shopping, so we'll put a little <laughs> bag down there, look. Put a little bag, he's carrying shopping, look. Uh -huh. I see. So you I can start see. to imagine the silhouette effect that you're getting there through this. That's it. Not bad, is it, eh? Yeah, that's good. Should we do a dog? <laughs> oh, no. Let's do a dog and put the dog just to the side there. Now, to do the dog, obviously think about the size of the dog in relation. Yeah. Um, what I'll do is just put a little bit of a wig shape, letter N type shape like that. That's the back legs in case you're wondering. <laughs> so think about the size, no higher than the person's, let's say, knees. Okay. Just to one side of it, put another N shape, which will run into the first one. Because remember, it's sat on the actual land there. Got it? Mm -hmm. 
a starting point. It's a strange looking dog. <laughs> and then we'll put the body on, put the body on. So kind of fill the two bits together, put like a cylinder, like a tube of oh, cylinder, right, okay. yeah? Join the two end shapes together. And then put the head on. So put the neck on like a little bit of a... Like a stool. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, that's because it's headless. Put the head on, go on, and then you've got a dog. <laughs> Mine's a little Labrador. <laughs> It's a mini horse or a dog, and then put a little tail at the back. That's the best dog I've ever painted. That <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. So that's quite uh, decent. For some reason, that's, people that's have actually a... quite good. Yeah, I see. So it's, it's simple, few, isn't it? Yeah. What six lines? Yeah, you that's it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. Simple. Yeah. Now we should have a quick shadow from the sun. Okay. So I put a little flick like this from the dog. Quick flick like that. One from each kind of, from the person, from the dog so there. So like flick, 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 flick. The, yeah. yeah, flicking downwards, you've got it, yeah. That's it. Imagine where the sun's shining, that's it. So yeah. you can see them sat there then, can't you? A few birds. Flick, flick. Again, more flicks. And I think we can call that probably a finished picture cool. then. That's it. What do you think? All right? Brilliant. Excellent. Yeah. Right, so there we go then, painting number four, what do you think? Very good, yeah. Should we try and mount Excellent. on it? Yeah. Try and mount on it. The nice thing about this is the mount is slightly smaller, so you can yeah. just sort of can move it tweak it a little bit. You know, even to. just a slight little rotation sometimes can work yeah. in the picture. Nice in the corner, yours just off centre. Yeah. For some reason, people have a fear of painting people, and it's just a case of putting the two egg shapes and the legs and a carrier bag and a dog. Yeah. So it's not too complicated, but obviously practice it. Yeah. That comes to the homework, actually. What I'd like you to do this time is use as many colours as you wish and have a go at painting two figures in a dog in the daylight, so full colour clothing, you know, red clothes, blue jeans, etc. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you can do this. Don't panic about the flesh colour, OK? Just okay. put the hair and so on. And um, for more details, check out the website and I'll see you next time. Well, this is my fourth picture I'm really pleased with. Um, I would never have thought I could have painted people, but a basic shape and what a fantastic result. I'm so pleased with it. Mm -hmm.